It is time for the Ericaism of the day. And I was talking to my sister in love, Joy, and uh, we were talking about energy. You know, that's the new phrase everybody, you know, uses, Griff. You know, oh, yeah, I just like her energy. I like her, and I sense my energy. And I said that about energy. Um, I want to talk about misleading and misreading energy. So a lot of times you can meet people and there is this, this, kindred this like-mindedness that you experience well here's what i want you to understand that sometimes energy is just heat and you need to understand the value of your relationship when your energy don't mix when your energy don't match when y'all want two different things you can't build a whole life or a whole career on just you had a, a an energetic connection like in the animal world that's just called heat and you're just in heat and I'm not trying to downplay, you know, your energy and all that kind of stuff. That's fine. But you need to have some real foundational connection. You need to understand who you are in covenant with and communion with. You need to understand your circle and what's really going on. It needs to be more than just good energy because we bond over so many things. We bond over shows we like. We bond over clothes we like. We bond over hair. We bond over sports. All kinds of things. We bond over politics sometimes. We all mad at the same thing or we all like the same thing. Sometimes it has to go deeper than that to understand if you are really in relationship and in covenant with somebody. There's something very different than just energy. And I'm not downplaying it at all because I get what you're saying. Somebody's vibe, somebody's presence. You know, they come in the room and you go, oh, I like you. But you have to do the digging first. Don't build stuff based on just the energy. Because like I said, in the animal world, that's just heat. And when the heat cool off, what you going to do? That's when you understand if you have something real, something tangible, if it goes beyond energy. If the conversation when y'all ain't in agreement can still come to a place where y'all can still communicate even though you don't see eye to eye. So I want y'all to be careful with the misleading and the misreading of, of energy. I personally like to rely on the Holy Ghost a little bit more than your energy or mine. What does the Holy Ghost say about this person? What is the Spirit of God? What is what is the Lord telling me about this thing I'm about to do that I'm getting into? Just because I got in the room and we was all laughing at the same thing and we really was bonding over gossip, really. We, we really were bonding because we all was talking about some, uh, mm -mm. what does the Lord have to say? Is God's energy in there? Is God's love in there? Ask the Holy Ghost. Is this my? Is this really my friend, or is this something that you, you really want me to get away from? Is this bad for me? Is this good for me, Lord? What What am I doing here? So y'all be careful with the misleading and the misreading of the energy. That's my Erica ism for the day.